Hi everyone, welcome to another video from SportEd India, bringing you the best in sports business and education. In today's video, we talk about the factors in store for Star India with a sum of Rs 3000 crore to be recovered in the upcoming edition of the Indian Premier League 2020. Watch the video till the end, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from SportEd India. Back in 2017, Star India had won the rights for broadcasting the IPL at a huge sum of around 16,000 crore for 5 seasons, which adds up to around 54.5 crore per match. Even though the numbers were insane, Star India management were optimistic that they would at least break even with this deal given the growing popularity of Cricket in India and the Indian Premier League. Fast forward to 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic had the IPL 2020 postponed indefinitely. However, with a lot of planning and decision making involving the ICC, BCCI, the franchises, the IPL governing body has decided to shift the IPL from India to the UAE. While the players and fans may still feel a little happy about it, it is a completely different story for the sponsors and especially Star India who have pulled in so much money. The questions are, is Star India staring at a huge loss? All with about 50 days remaining and 3000 crores on the line, how feasible is Star India's target? Let us take a look at some of the factors if the IPL is to go ahead this year in the UAE. There are chances that advertisers may not have the money at this moment to put into the IPL. Given the economic impact that we are in, whether it would recover in 6-8 to eight weeks for the advertisers to invest thousands of crores in advertisement is a lingering thought. The Star and Disney chairman himself quoted that he isn't sure the market is ready enough to sustain and support the IPL 2020. The brands associated with the IPL have not witnessed much sales in the past 4 months. This results in them not being in a position to commit to large investments. This is leading to these brands asking for reduction and discounts which cannot be given. Star India usually starts the marketing campaigns 80 to 90 days prior to the beginning of the IPL. However, Currently, even with around 50 days remaining from the expected date of commencement of the tournament, Star India is yet to begin on their marketing campaigns. The uncertainty of dates and confirmation from BCCI and the government is making matters worse for Star India, who are already way behind schedule. Adding to this, the anti-China sentiments are also making things difficult for Star. Brands like Oppo, Vivo and a few other Chinese brands who are regular advertisers are yet to commit themselves. It was reported that before COVID-19, IPL and its franchisees had sold 80% of their sponsorship both on air and teams. But with the current situation, most of the brands will look to revisit the deals looking at the current situation of the market and the challenges they face. However, a positive take on this situation is the fact that IPL will be coinciding with festivals like Onam and Diwali. It is a time when masses look to buy products. The IPL can be the best medium through which the advertisers can advertise their products. IPL is after all the biggest festival in Indian sports and this will definitely keep the advertisers thinking. Only time will tell whether Star India is able to yield a handful return on investment or not.